Good morning, everyone. Lovely to see everyone. Um, today, I'll be painting Lake Louise. And I'll be painting this in stages, as I always do. So um, my first step, the first step, I'll be making a brief sketch of the mountains, the skies, the lake, and the grass in front. And um, after I make the sketch, I'll start painting the background, and then the middle ground and the foregrounds, yeah. And the last step, I'll be doing all the highlights and details, okay? Hello. Shrita Gupta, Creative Mind. Lovely to see you. Welcome. Welcome to my live. I know you are one of my new subscribers. So, um, let's see who was in here. Track, break, track Breaker. Hello, welcome Track Breaker. Lovely to see you too. So, um, I'm going to take this photo that I have here of and I'm gonna make a little sketch here. I don't know if I set this up right here. And I have a big canvas today. Make a little sketch here from this, from the focal point here, the beautiful mountain covered with snow. Here. Yeah. 
It's a rough sketch. Also use some um, some of the mountain don't have um, snow so I'll so I'll just use this yeah I'm using two medium today I'm using acrylic paint and I'm using watercolor crayon. And I think I'll put that beautiful lake here. Such a gorgeous, stunning lake. I've been there with my family a few years ago. So that's my little sketch there. Who do I have here? Hi, Steve. Welcome. Hi, Trek Breaker. It's really, in, Trek Breaker said, it's really interesting to watch you paint. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. So this painting is going to be very simple and um, for the sky I'm just going to use some cobalt blue and titanium white.
If you're hearing some noise in the background, it's because my neighbor, they're doing some construction, so it's quite noisy. I'm not really happy with the noise, but hopefully in a month or so, that should be done. Okay, I'll let that one dry for now. Okay, um, track breaker said we don't hear the noise of the neighbors. <laughs> oh, that's good to know. That's good to know. You own a good microphone. Um, not really. Um, I just, I'm using my um, laptop here because I have less than 1,000 subscribers. So the only thing I can use to do a live is my laptop. So I guess maybe it's okay. I'm glad that you're staying still um, track breaker and Steve Harris and Sri Gupta Creative. I'm glad that you enjoyed my artwork. Um, I see someone here, Umesh Easy Drawing. Welcome Umesh. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Trek break, I like all those videos that you show of Europe. The place there is so stunning. Okay, for my next stage here, I'll be um, painting the snow-covered mountain here, around here. I don't have any assistant today. Usually um, my daughter, well, a few times she helped me out. Kind of nice to have somebody to help you out and to read the comment and everything, but no help today. Okay, so for this um, snow-covered mountain, I'm just going to apply some white first. Just paint here white. And then later on, I'm going to add some, um, some gray.
Can you guys hear my voice okay? Can you let me know? Because usually, my, you know, sometimes my children are here and they tell me what I'm doing right or wrong. So I don't have anybody today in my house to tell me. So if my voice, the volume is okay, let me know. I'm ba basically um, guessing my way here today. <laughs> Breaker asks what time I have here in Toronto. Now is 11.35 a.m. So it's not noon as yet. What time is it in Germany? Five. Oh, okay. I guess it would that would be afternoon, right? Because you wouldn't be up in the morning. You can connect with my other friends there if you like, um, Trap Breaker and Steve. You can connect with them and make some friends.
Okay, for the challenging part, I'm gonna. Okay, um, track breaker. That's great that you used to paint, or you still paint. Um, thanks for watching my Alice, and be safe. If anybody else is there, you're welcome to make a comment.
Hello, dear. I see Victoria sign in. Lovely to see you, dear. Welcome. Hello, Bobby Bobster. Oh, I'm so glad to see you too. Who is still there? Bobby, Victoria, Track Breaker. I'm not too sure if he's still there. Hi, Steve. Hi, Umesh and Shrita Gupta, creator. Lovely to see everybody. Welcome. Okay, um, I'm going to paint these two big mountains on this side here. And I'm going to use um, different shades of green for here, around here, okay? I have um, some hookers green here. I'll put some primary yellow. This one.
some um, strange reason, this pin that I have here, the top breaks out. So then I have to glue it down so that it doesn't dry. See here, it just breaks. Okay, make a comments, friends, so I will know how the painting's coming along. So I prick, I, I mix some uh, primary yellow here and some hookers green. So I'm just going to make this part here very light around here for now because I'm going to make it darker later on.
So, um, oh, that's great. Hi, Track Breaker. I'm glad that you're back. Say hi to uh, Renate for me. Oh, that's so nice that you're back. I'm so happy now because it's kind of lonely here. Only just three people on that I can see. So it's good to see you back. Uh, and Bobby, Bobster. Okay. Um, hi, Steve. Lovely to see you too. I'm glad you like the green. Yeah, but I'm going to make that much darker. I'm going to put some conifers trees. So there are lots of pine trees and conifers there. So I'm going to make it a little darker. But I'm just trying to find my right brush here. Sometimes it's hard to find that one. I'm going to make the add some some ultramarine blue here. I'm going to add some ultramarine blue to my green to make it more dark. Okay, so I think I'm going to put some conifers. Well, it looks like conifers trees around here. So um, myself and my two children and a neighbor with her two children visited um, Lake Louise a couple of years ago. The place is so beautiful. I was blown away at how gorgeous the lake is. And we also visited Jasper and Banff. National Park, they all are national parks. So I'm um, track breaker. I see lots of your videos that you show are places that almost resemble Lake Louise. I mean, yours in Europe, they're really beautiful. They're stunning. So I see your video. You have some really gorgeous places there. You put so much of some green. So um, here, um, when we went there, we went on a hike, which is a beautiful hotel around this area here, around here, gorgeous. I actually forgot the name of it here. So there was a, um, about 2.5 kilometers hike to a tea house on the mountain. So we hike all the way around here, walk there, all the way there, and it took me three hours to get up to that mountain. Quite a few times I wanted to give up, but I didn't, and I was so glad that I went there. And my friends, they took two hours, but I took my time. It was lots of zigs and zags around these hills, and we learned that the tea house, well, you cannot see it from this perspective, 
but somewhere in the back there. And the only way that um, you can get the tea and the supply to the tea house, they use a helicopter to, to take the supply. And even the staff there that work there, they have to take a helicopter. It's quite a really beautiful experience. Um, so Trek Breaker says um, Canada has lots more amazing places to visit. Well, I'm not too sure about that, but really, there are really lots of beautiful places here in Canada and lots of beautiful national parks. Um, what did he say? I visited a school in Michigan close to Canada border and spent a lot of time in Canada. Oh, that's great. Have you visited any of the national parks? Park, Trek Breaker. Um. Hi, Karen. Lovely to see you. I'm glad that you made it. Karen, so how are things today in Trinidad and Tobago? How was the weather there? So Karen said it's really hot in Trinidad and Tobago. Um, Trinidad and Tobago is from where I was born. And um, Trek Breaker said it's almost 40 years ago. Oh, wow. So you must have been a kid. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, you were very young, a teenager, I should say, when you came to, to USA and Canada. I don't think I want to make this um, background too dark because I want to put a, um, a, tr uh, a kind of a tree here. So um, I want to see the background. So I'm basically doing almost the same type of stroke here, yeah, just dabbing these, um, this paint. And this paint that I'm using is acrylic. That's what I mostly use, but I have some watercolor crayon that sometimes I use it to sketch. Um, track breaker, was it um, you who made a comment once when I painted that um, 
German schnauzer and you said it looks like Olaf? Because I was trying to look for that comment, but I couldn't see it after. But I remember somebody from Germany saying that my my dog looks like Olaf, some cartoon character. I'm trying to make this horizon line here a bit dark. Okay. And, um, Okay. I have a picture here I can show you guys. I don't know if you want to see. Where's my picture? Um, this picture here that we took, um, the water looks aqua. We took this picture. Can you see that? We took that picture a few years ago. It's a really gorgeous lake. And I, I always meant, always mean to paint it like I would like to, but I never had a chance because I get distracted trying to do things really easy. Did you, did you get a good look of it? It's, um, let me try this again. Okay. There. Oh, oh. There. Okay, that picture we took a few years ago. Okay. So, um, What do you think, huh? What do you think? How does it look so far? You know what? Will you watch it? You can make a more comment if you like. Make some more comment. It's nice to have comment. Let me see what Trek Breaker is saying here. Um, it's a Disney figure. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, this was you that made the comment, yeah. But it's true, huh? Let's see what it says here. Trek Breaker. I went to school in the US when I was. Track Breaker stated I went to school when I was 14 in the US. I became I became a scholarship for playing basketball. Wow, oh that's really great. It was not it was not me, but it's true. Olaf is an American cartoon character, a Disney figure. Um it track breaker state is is the left girl Becca where to go next? I'm not too sure what you're talking about. Um, is the left girl Becca where to go next? Hi, draw so funny TV2. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my live. I'm happy to see you. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is to paint the water. Um, I'm going to use some, this is called, this is called 
bright aqua green. Some people call it turquoise. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm going to try this out. When I went to uh, Alberta and in the west of Canada a while ago, I was shocked at how beautiful the water was. And the color, I thought that's the color of the water in the tropics. I didn't, I couldn't believe that in Canada, in the West, the water is so stunning, so beautiful. Okay, so maybe. Huh? You need the car. Use the red. Oh. I don't want to number out. See my clicks. Uh, oh, oh, um, track breaker. You're asking about a girl in the picture. Um, this girl in the picture on the left side is my daughter. Her name is Vicky, and the boy on the Right side is my son, and his name is Matthew. This first? Is that yours? This one's okay. Um, um, actually, no, my daughter doesn't YouTube. Sometimes she helps me when I'm doing a live. Sometimes you'll see her to the side. She paints a bit. And sometimes she helps me to read the comment and to welcome people. But um, she's not any famous YouTuber. Hear some commotion here. My son's here. He's leaving. He's gonna walk. Oh, thank you, Track Breaker, for thinking I'll be a famous YouTuber. <laughs> I'm just struggling. Um, now that it's summer, I'm painting a little more often because I work for the school, for school. And I still have some time now, but during the school year, I don't really have a lot of time. Okay, um, I'm going to paint the water here. Around here, okay. So, I'm gonna start with using this bright aqua green here. Okay. And I don't like the brush, okay. The next one, here. so um, track breaker. Um, so do you paint still? Hello, us art. Welcome to my live. 
Thank you so much for saying my work is amazing. Um, track breaker said the color is good. Welcome professional farmer from Philippines. Seems like very easy for you. Yeah, well, it's not that easy, but I'm trying. <laughs> and who else is here? I used to paint when I was young, really young. Oh, well, um, you can start painting again. I paint as a form of therapy. <laughs> um, to relax and things that inspire me, I paint. So it's a hobby and therapy and all in one. And if I can inspire anybody, sure. Okie dokie. I'm going to put this water here. And believe me, the water is gorgeous like this in Lake Louise. Thank you, dear. Let me show you again. As you can see here, I'll show you this picture again of Lake Louise. Oh, this arm, um, it's kind of a, it has a plastic over it, so it's glaring. As you can see, how oh, gorgeous. This color is here. Can you see this? Yeah, of the water. Hello, Niagara Art Academy. Um, you said, hi, friend, amazing and beautiful work. Thank you. Welcome to my LS. I appreciate everybody watching my LS. I feel um, when I paint and I feel I have better control when I'm using smaller brushes. So the water is very calm there since it's a lake, so I'm not doing any big wave or anything.
Okay, I'm just um um track breaker said you have this color only only when there is no wind. Oh that's great to know. No wind, no waves. That's great. Thanks, US art for saying I'm extremely talented. I'm just trying. <laughs> Keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm going to leave that like that for now. On. I'm going to put some grass around here and then some rocks. And I already had the greens from what I use over there. So I'm going to just put some grass. Nothing too fancy, Well, thank you so much, Track Breaker, for telling me rocks will be good. Yes, um, it did have some rocks there on the front. And they had even had some people, you can rent canoes there. But this picture that I have don't have a canoe. But, um, but yeah, the rocks will be nice for there. I uh, want my, my grass to look more light and limey color. So I'm just going to make this here.
Thank you so much, Steve. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. As you can see, it's not really that hard. Eh? Once you just do step by step. Um, I thought I was taking a risk doing this today, painting Lake Louise, and I never painted it before. But anyway, seems to be looking okay for now. Okay, so um, usually at this horizon line here, usually make it a little bit dark. So I'm using some ivory black here. Okay. Okay, I'm going to make some rocks here, guys. Um, yeah. I knew there were some big rocks there. Some ones there.
and I'm going to put some shrubs around here. Just make some shrubs around here. Hello, Sanjeev Art. Um, Sanjeev said, awesome. So beautiful. Thank you so much. Welcome. I appreciate you watching my live stream. Thank you. Do is take this line straight across. I think it's going to look better if the horizon, the water goes straight across.
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some reflection here, like around here. Hello, everyone. I hope nobody fell asleep on me there. <laughs> Make a comment if you like. I was just so focused on this painting here.
I'm gonna mix them all. Thank you. Thank you, track breaker and everyone who is watching. Thank you so much. If you have any suggestion, you're welcome to let me know. I can try. Now oh, it looks like it has waves, but anyway.
Okay, um, I think I'll put one big tree here. Uh, this is called a spruce. Big tree here. And maybe another here. Okay. Well done, picture by track breaker. The order you order you are painting. Okay, good. Well, that's great, um, track breaker. If you want to start painting, then the water, the sky, the green area. Oh, that's great. I'm glad if somebody learned from my painting. I'm very happy for that. If I can inspire somebody, it's great because a few people inspire me. Well, quite a few. And nature and the environment inspires me most. I like being outdoor. Okay, so I'm going to make a big tree here, a conifer tree here. And for the trunk, I'm going to use some burnt sienna and some raw sienna. Maybe a little black in there. You know, um, lots of artists and lots of classes that I take, um, the teachers, they don't like black paint. <laughs> they don't use it, but for some weird reason, I like using black and dark colors. Okay, Rose. Okay, I'm going to make my tree around here. It goes up there. Okay, somewhere around here. Okay, and maybe I'll just make one around here. Okay. 
Um, you know, before I started doing LS, I just started doing LS around since January. When I did a painting, it took me about eight hours to do a painting. Now with my LS, it takes a couple hours. With my, you know, I don't do much details when I'm doing LS. I think I'll do one around here too. Okay, and I'll do my dark side on this side here. Yeah, you're right. One side has to be dark, and the other side with a light off. The light is coming from this side here on the right side. So I'll make my, my left side a little darker. So this paint is not getting very dark. Oh, track um, breaker ask, do you load up the live stream? No, I don't load this. Um, I would like to show it to my students. Oh, okay. Um, no, I don't load. What I do is when I end this live stream, all I have to put live end live stream, and then YouTube takes over, and it takes uh, many hours to upload. And um, so lots of people cannot see this this live for until like five or six hours after. Some people see it, but for lots of people cannot see it for about five or six hours, sometime overnight, and then the next day they see it. So um, so I don't have to do anything. All I do is press live end live stream. Um, so Trek Breaker, you said that um, you would like to show it to your student. Can I ask you what you teach? Thank you. 
Oh, okay. You teach, you teach German, English, French, mathematics, physics. Wow, amazing. Oh, you're a me mechanical engineer. Wow, and you have time for YouTube. That's great. That's awesome. And that's great that you have time to watch my channel. <laughs> it's even more better. Um, so I'm gonna. So I'm going to paint this tree here. I think it looks like a spruce or pine tree. And I'm just going to mix up some blue and green because I want it to be dark, like almost like a silhouette dark tree. And then later on, I'll lighten up on one side. Okay, wish me luck with this one here. I'm using a fun brush here to make these branches.
Thanks, Track Breaker, for saying that I am a great example. You know, I only started painting um, for the past six, about seven, eight years now. I'm painting. Before that, I just admire people's work and wish I can paint. So I started as a form of therapy, and now I'm painting as a hobby. And if I can inspire anybody, that will be great too. So um, for this tree, I'm going to lighten up one side. I said I'm going to let this side be lighter. So I'll put some yellow. My yellow is almost running out here. I know the tree is a little scanty. Who else are on my live? I see four people there. Um, just make a comment, my friends. It would be nice to hear what you think. So make a comment and you can interact with each other and make friends and subscribe to each other's channel. Oh, oh, track breaker, you are just too funny. <laughs> oh, you're too funny. You said you'll hire me to teach a student. <laughs> oh, you're too funny. Okay, so um, are you off today, track breaker? Okay, so um, I'm going to lighten up this side of the tree because since the light is coming on from this side. Yeah, there are lots of yellow. Maybe I'll still put a little bit on this side too. Lots of yellow. I like yellow. Oh, I ask you, are you off from work today, track breaker? Thanks, Karen. I appreciate it.
Wow. This tree here on the right side, I'm going to make it a little different. I'm going to make it like a cedar. So you wouldn't get a cedar background too much, but um, let's see if I can make it a little different. Yeah, sorry, um, I'm not too sure what you're saying there, track breaker. And, um, Hi, Karen again, and everyone that's watching, hello. And I'm not too sure if Steve is still there. But thanks for watching, I appreciate it. Okay, so I'm going to... You know, I'm usually when I do live, I get anxious and stress and <laughs> I, I sometimes I don't know what I'm doing. But today I feel kind of relaxed for some weird reason. Oh. Uh, whatever happened, it's okay.
What do you guys think? Do you think I need to do anything else or? Reflection, sort of okay. Maybe I'll do a little more reflection and I'll be signing off soon, guys. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. We get a little more white here. There's water. Yeah, I think I need a little more reflection. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I appreciate everyone who is watching this video. I'm so happy for everyone that came in. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Um, but usually when I finish a live, I usually do more work to it, like all the details. I mean, lots of things are missing, right? So I'll do lots more details and stuff like that later on. But for now, I just do the basic and it looks pretty good for now. But thank you so much, guys. Thank you. I'm going to end this live stream now. Okay, have a wonderful day. Bye.